Hi beautiful souls, welcome. So this reading is all about what doors are opening for you. And of course these doors can be in any area of your life. Now I'm just popping back in to the intro here to adjust it a little so that I can add a trigger warning because when I finished each of the piles, I felt called to come back and just let you know that one of the piles does touch briefly on connection to lost loved ones. I wanted you to have the opportunity to decide if you feel comfortable proceeding with the reading, knowing that um, that topic may be in the pile you choose. Now, I won't mention which pile it is because many of you may not want to know that before you choose your pile, but it is um, within this reading. So that's a little trigger warning just at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to switch over now to the original intro, but I'll just pick up instead of saying the hellos again at the part where I'm shuffling in the cards and you can make your pile selection and I'll see you at your reading. See you there. What I'm called to do here is to shuffle out three cards and to keep them face down, which is a little bit um, unusual because usually if we have three cards shuffled out, I'll do that prior to the intro, but let's just go with it. And also there are three crystals on the table. You may already find yourself being drawn to one, but we'll look more closely at them in a moment too. So let's just get our three cards on the table. Spirit, can you show us the card for pile one, please? The card for pile one. Okay, I feel like that's it. Pile one. For pile two. Okay, I'm taking this one for pile two, noting that it came out on its side. Okay, and for pile three. For pile three, please. For pile three. we go pile three all right there are our three cards there and with each of them as I mentioned there's a crystal so we've got for pile one our kunzite a stone that has very very um, powerful energy of unconditional love so if you're drawn to kunzite it's kind of a lavender color I'm never quite sure how the colours show up on the camera. But if you're drawn to that stone, or perhaps your eyes are pulled in this direction, you'll be pile one. For pile two, we have this beautiful um, quartz, clear quartz for clarity. Also amplifies the energy of the other um, stones around it. And it has little tiny ones on it as well so there's our clear quartz and for pile three our amethyst cluster so all of these stones usually sit up here on my table so take as long as you need to choose your pile pause the video if you need to i always say at this point just take the messages that resonate for you Leave behind anything that doesn't. If something doesn't feel right or feels uncomfortable in some way, that can be either a sign that it's not your message or it's not your message right now. When I say it's not your message right now, sometimes that means that it simply isn't your message. Just leave it. But at other times, perhaps in a few cases, it can be indicating that it's something that we're wanting to look at down the track and that's where your own inner compass and intuition comes in where you get to decide is this something that um, feels a little bit triggering and that I want to look at down the track or is it absolutely just not my message and I can just let it go okay so always using your own inner uh, knowing as the ultimate lantern and light to guide you 
Okay, lots of love to you guys as we move forward into this reading. Okay, beautiful part one. Let's get started. We'll just pop your kunzite here. And I'm going to begin by shuffling in some cards for you to have a look and see what doors are opening for you for our gorgeous part ones. Part one, what doors are opening for you? Right, let's have a look here, part one, at what we've got. We'll move this card over here. We'll put these there. We have got the Five of Cups, the Emperor, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I'm hoping I can get all this in screen, so let me just work on the way I'm going to lay this out. Might just move them over a little bit. Okay. For divine, actually, we'll put this one over here. We have got shield. Fantasy land. Enemy. Someone opposes you. Okay. Let's just pop those here. All right. Make sure everyone involved is being realistic and on the same page. Okay. So what's opening up here for our beautiful par ones? <clears throat> and so this to me, par one, um, from what I can see, looks like you are stepping into some kind of leadership role. And I know that down the bottom here, some of you may be being drawn to this enemy card. But what I'm feeling with it sitting here is I'm being brought to that saying, well, I don't know if it's a saying or just an understanding that many of us have, that sometimes when we are in some kind of position of leadership or some kind of energy of stepping into either a role or others are looking to us for guidance or there is something about this emperor energy that's shining through with this queen of pentacles sitting underneath it there can be a weight that comes with it you've got this ten of pentacles here and so whilst it might be showing up here as enemy energy i feel like it might be more about recognizing that uh you might feel a little bit of pushback. You might feel a little bit of resistance. You might feel a little bit of resentment even from some people. But this is not, because fantasy land is sitting above it, this is not something that you need to take on board as part of this journey. This to me looks like someone who is stepping away from perhaps having felt like they were taking a back seat for a quite a while so with this five of cups here maybe for many of you who've come to pile one and I'm not saying that you all put your hands up for leadership I'm not saying you all put your hands up to be in control or in charge of something many of you may even be saying I don't want that or I don't want to take that on but this to me looks like perhaps you felt unrecognized or you felt like you haven't been valued in some way and this emperor um, even though it can come through in a formal kind of way that is how I receive emperor the fact that the queen of pentacles is underneath it it softens it for me and so that could be saying that your leadership could be presenting in a variety of different ways for some of you it could be that you're literally given some kind of promotion this could be about work this could be about you stepping into a role where others are looking at you as some kind of guide or some kind of mentor some kind of authority okay but for others this emperor may be more of a natural unfolding rather than a handing of a position or a title it could be more of a natural unfolding where others start to recognize what you bring to the table and it could feel like a very well the Queen of Pentacles, of course, is this very grounded, earthy energy. 
but it could feel like it is the accumulation of all that you have done is finally being recognized of all that you are and all that you bring to the table. And so I'm not saying that every single one of you is wanting to step into a leadership role, although I do feel that many of you are. But what I do feel is happening is that you're getting some form of recognition. You're getting some form of, um, well, I will say the word status because that's how it's coming through here and that you're getting seen for what you are bringing in, which is stability, groundedness, nurturing, um, a sense that others can look to you as a place of this is how we grow. This is where you find your feet and you, this is how you plant your feet in able to in order to, sorry, in order to develop and to grow and to expand. And so others are looking to you and seeing this. Now, not everybody's going to like it. And I feel like that's why you've got these two end cards and we can explore them more. I'm not getting a, but I was going to say I'm not getting a heavy vibe from it, but what I feel it is, is that spirit is bringing it through as a little bit of a footnote to you to let you know that this is um, there. This potential is there, okay? Maybe some of you are already feeling it, but it's not something that you need to engage with. It's not something that you need to get involved with or take your energy towards because let me just hold on to these two cards together because I feel they are very much linked. Okay, make sure everyone involved is being realistic and on the same page. Now, that top card, could be saying to some of you, if you are in a, well, even if you're not in a formal leadership sort of role, it could be saying to you that it's important also to make sure nobody's sabotaging or undermining your work. So when I initially looked at it, the message was don't let them undermine your confidence or where you are or to let it kind of rock your boat. But it could also here where it's saying make sure everyone's on the same page, be letting you know that not everyone is necessarily going to be on the same page and look for how others bring their energy in and how it may impact the direction of any kind of project that you're putting out there. And it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to target um, a particular person say, hey, you're interrupting this, you're interfering with this, you're creating disruption, but it may just influence the way that you uh, direct your energy or how you decide to do things or who you connect with um, or who you share certain energy and information with. Okay, and so this could be a little bit of a warning, but not in a nefarious, like freak out kind of warning way, more in a just be aware of the fact that not everyone is going to necessarily share your vision and not everyone is going to be happy that you are in this role, okay? It doesn't mean they don't recognize that you're deserving of the role or what you bring to the table, but there could be other reasons. There's a whole, whole lot of reasons why people can get into that space. And we shield here, that to me kind of echoes that message as well. Keep that shield in place. It doesn't mean keep the defense up, even though a shield, of course, is a... Um, device of defense but it's like shield your energy keep keep your projects and your intentions uh, shielded shielded and protected from any kind of negative energy that anyone brings to the table whether intentionally or unintentionally okay so what door is opening for you is the door to leadership the door to um, others looking to you and as I'm saying this I've got it through about three times as I've said it some of you are not wanting this or are feeling like no I'm not ready for it but spirit is saying you are ready for it and I think that with the five of cups here also you're being asked to look at some kind of situation that happened either recently or at some point um, in the not too distant past where you have felt like you're in this five of cups energy like you weren't being recognized or that there was something around. Let me look on the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. Okay. There was something around maybe a disappointment because you didn't have a say in something or you felt like you had something to offer and it wasn't 
recognized. Okay, so I noticed that that um, train horn goes off and very, very rare that that happens here, very rare that I would hear it. And so here with the four of wands on the bottom, you will be celebrating and very comfortable in this role before long. Okay, regardless of whether it's a formal role or you start to notice a shift in the energy, more people perhaps asking you to step into some kind of, or maybe just more people coming to you and recognizing you in this Queen of Wands slash Emperor energy. Okay, let's have a look up here. What have we got? So this is big transformation for you. Big, big, big transformation. Isn't that a gorgeous card? Let's just have a look here. So we've got Scorpio energy and Aries energy on the table. It took me aback then because it felt like it's really big energy. So let's just sit with it for a second. All right, so death there, you've got the emperor. Let me just have a look. So this is a big, big change for you coming in here, a big change. So this is making me feel, when I flip that death card there, um, pile one, it's making me feel that something is transformed for you that feels more significant than what just came through initially, which is why I paused. So I'm wondering perhaps if... This five of cups needs to be explored a little bit more here to give more context because something big is changing. So you're stepping into some kind of role here that requires you to um, just be conscious of your shield because some may be envious of where you're at. Some may bring an energy that is a little bit disruptive or a little bit gets people off the page or tries to disrupt the flow of where this page is at, you know. And when I say where the page is at, I mean the page of the book that you have open of where we're going or what we could do or what this could become or the vision that you have, all right. But there's something about that Five of Cups that wants to be explored a little bit more. So I want to come back to it. What is it that you're leaving behind here with that death card coming up? What is it? that pile one is leaving behind what's transforming here show me more about this please spirit oops okay we're taking these two. Three of Cups, the Magician. And on the bottom, the Ace of Cups. And here I am asking what you're leaving behind. So perhaps you were trying with the Magician there to, you were striving for some particular role or working towards something. And it didn't happen. And there was some sort of disappointment around it in the past. Maybe you tried for some sort of promotion or you tried for some kind of position or you tried to get some uh, respect or recognition and it hadn't worked out. And now it finally happens. This with the Ace of Cups on the bottom feels really beautiful here. So this is really connected to the heart space. So it's interesting that I was getting through that a few of you are feeling like, no, I'm not ready. Maybe you became quite comfortable in the space of it not happening. You know, quite comfortable with, yeah, I want this, but it hasn't happened. I'm used to it not happening. Let's see what else we can get through for you. Okay, telling me some more. Uh, which cards will we use? Let's get the Poesis cards. Can you tell me more? About the doors opening for pile one, please, Spirit. More about the doors opening for pile one. Shadow. Okay. 
what else and we'll have a look what's in here uh, okay so shadow and wish so that feels uh, very connected to what I was just talking about. There could have been some kind of wish that you've been having for a long time that it became very comfortable for you just being a wish, just being that, you know, one day, this could happen, maybe one day, but now you're looking in the mirror and it's here, you know, it's like, it's here and I need to maybe face some of the insecurities around how I truly feel stepping into this role or how I feel I measure up or how someone might throw me off guard. That's what this feels like. And so it's like you get what you finally, you finally get what you wanted, okay? It's finally here. It happens. It unfolds. But with that, with that, uh, unfolding that happening that reaches you there is also some kind of opposing energy here that creates a little bit of a ripple for you and it could if you're not prepared for it with your shield um, cause you to enter some kind of shadow energy here and look how it's got teeth and so looking in the mirror and feeling like you know what there's a bit of a bite there or will it bite or is this something that could catch me off guard and so this is about the transformation this could have been a place where you felt quite comfortable for a while quite comfortable feeling like this is what I deserve this is where I'm at this is my place and now you're, and even though the wish was there for something more, now you're about to step through that door for that wish. You're about to step into your true um, desire, okay? And you're very much worthy of this and very much capable of this. And very much you have these ideas and you have this, this book open. But there's something there, there's some kind of energy that feels like a little bit of a trigger, potential trigger and so spirits coming through just to say to you be ready for that this is part of the process this is part of the transformation this is part of the journey don't let it throw you off guard it will likely or it it may i'll say likely because that's how it's looking to me but it may appear in the form of a situation or it may appear in the form of a person a particular person or a couple of people and it could be um, many tri different triggers that outwardly are the reasons for this, okay? Like they may say, well, you know, that person, they didn't deserve that. I've been here longer or I've done this longer or I would do this better, whatever. They're all outward uh, excuses and reasons that they attach to their own feelings. That's their journey, okay? But this playing out, this little thing, if it makes you feel a little bit wobbly, Spirit is asking you just to remember, pull that shield out and remember, this is about them. It's not about you. You are here, not just because it was your wish, not just because you manifested it with this magician and you really wanted it, but because it's your pathway. It's your destiny. It's where you're meant to be at this given time. And so nobody else's opinion and nobody else's um, shadow or let's see yeah it, it, animosity or whatever it is or desire to disrupt um, needs to play any part in this all right you have the ability to let go of well not to let go to defend very easily with ease okay don't let this become a burden to defend your space energetically okay and you do that by just knowing that you're in the right place because that's where you're meant to be and that anything that's coming at you from outside is not about you it's about them okay all right I hope that that came through okay because that transformation card feels like a, a big energy here coming through for this set of cards like this is what spirit's saying 
what door is opening for you is the door to change, the door to your wish coming true, the door to you stepping into emperor power, the door to you stepping into this queen of pentacles, being recognized, being seen, being looked to as a guide, being um, able to perhaps make boundaries, set rules, set guidelines, to make decisions, to be a person that provides stability, to be someone that's looked to by others, to step into your power. But just be aware that not everybody will be on board necessarily and that that's not your problem, basically. It's the best way for me to put it. It's not your problem, okay? And um, don't let it become your problem, particularly if you resonate with that message of having been in this Five of Cups because it's not always easy if we've been in the Five of Cups. I've been there. I know many of you have. If we've been in this Five of Cups energy where we felt like, okay, I've been at this job forever and this is just where I'm at. I'm just giving you a job as an example. It could be anything. But I've been at this job forever and other people do these roles that are higher up or whatever and this is just what I do. Or I've been in this role in the group forever, this friendship group or whatever, and I don't really speak up or whatever. But if you've been there, um, it's going to take maybe a little bit just to shift, to move through this transition and recognize that I'm not here, I'm here. Okay, I'm here. And this is who you are. This is who you are. Like this is in alignment with where you're at. You had that Ace of Cups coming through and that's about the... Um, it's about love, but it's about self-love and self-acceptance as well. So look at it on the bottom there. And so that's what I've got for you there, pile one. Let me just see what else I've got in here. Um, where did I want to go next? Let's get the Divine Compass and get another card from here. And I do want to get one more of these. And I might just pull a few letters out. Okay, I'm getting a um, letter C coming through. Hang on, let me just sit with it for a sec. Chris is coming through. Chris. So I'm getting a word like car, car, carbon or car, carbon. That's a weird name, weird word. I'm not sure that's um, could be something to do with a last name or something like that. Worthy goal, get out and be inspired to keep working towards your life purpose. Fresh ideas. This is what I feel you're bringing. You're bringing fresh energy to something. And it may be that some people in particular like things the way they were. They like the status quo. They like things to just stay, you know, without having to be rocked or without requiring any extra effort or without requiring any change. And so... Um, the reminder there that what you're bringing to the table, they're worthy goals. It's worthwhile. It's important to have fresh energy brought to something, to have new, vibrant life and ideas brought in. Okay. I also feel like, um, I don't know if this is related to that last message I just got, but I also feel like some of you may have something to do with, with cars, working with vehicles or something. And it could even be something like um, like you work with cars but connected in an office way. I'm getting that's a very specific type of thing. And not all of you this is to do with work, but many of you I feel it will be. Okay, let's keep going here. Or something around a car is coming through. I think I've got two here. Okay, we've got explore and amuse. Nice cards. Okay. So explore and muse. And so whatever door opens for you, However this plays out, you're going to have the opportunity to um, maybe tap into 
like you have fresh ideas now, but really tap into something new, something really adventurous here. I love muse coming up there. So we've talked a bit about opposition here and we've talked a bit about not everyone being on board but with muse coming up you're going to have people that are inspiring to you you're going to have people that are really on board that really motivate you and help you and um help your energy to expand and it's going to keep growing and growing so you might feel like yeah there's something in particular that i want to do for some of you, this could even be your own business or something that you're stepping into and you have opposition from others who are a little bit not on board with it. But then you'll have supporters and those who will be like, yeah, and they'll keep encouraging you. And so whatever ideas you have now, I would expect them that they're going to expand here. They're going to continue to grow and become much more far reaching here with explore, okay, with this visual and muse so you will be supported you'll definitely be supported and you'll feel like you are inspired as well all right let's get some letters and charms out for you for those who like the letters and charms I'm getting the name Davina. U W F O F S S. And I've just got a couple more. These can be initials for you, or maybe even connections to what your um like what this is about, or someone around you that's connected to this. D. We've got B E and you okay let me get some charms i keep being drawn up here to the f and the o and i keep being um drawn to the word flora i know the rest of the letters aren't there so perhaps something around flowers outdoors like the bush something around that Even a name, I guess. The pile one, please, sir. The pile one. Okay. All right, pile one. We've got a softball. These can be little confirmations for you. We've got a letter O, Olivia. We've got an elephant. Yeah, this is very stable energy, okay? And, of course, the trunk up. People talk about the trunk up being good luck. We had Scorpio on the table, Aries on the table. We've got uh, Sagittarius here. Sagittarius, of course, being a very adventurous sign. You could be any of those signs, but um, there could be something around the energy of those signs that is coming through. Gemini and Virgo as well there with the Magician. We've got Love, a motorbike. Could be a confirmation for someone. Number one. So this could be about winning a position, winning something, coming first place, getting a yes, you're in, or something like that. The rocket also about flying high, shooting to the top. Um, something there. We've got, there's that C. So I was getting that before. C-O reminds me of company. The sweet. This may feel very sweet, okay? Whatever comes through here, Pisces. Um, we've got a surfboard. Surfing the web sometimes comes through too with this one. The compass, which one of these decks is called the Divine Compass. Um, something around drawing, architecture as well could be relevant. Uh, the little piggy bank, so saving of money. And intuition, perhaps many of you are feeling this in the air, feeling it coming, sensing that there's a shift. Wendy also is coming through with that W there. Okay, that I think is all I've got for you, um, pile one. Let me just, before I wrap up, just check that there is nothing I've missed here. I'll just pull a couple of last cards for you, pile one, just to check that there is nothing I haven't covered. Okay, and one more. 
And what have we got? So we've got Seven of Swords in reverse, the Chariot, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like these are, let me just pop them over here. I feel like, pile one, these are uh, extra messages from Spirit just saying how important it is with that Seven of Swords in reverse and the Chariot upright for you to just keep steaming ahead, moving ahead, being confident, not letting anything stand in your way and most of all, um, turning a blind eye to anything that feels like it is trying to block you or goes against that inner voice. For me, this Seven of Swords in reverse showing up in this context, it's about staying true to yourself, okay? Don't betray yourself or all the things that um, you've come to understand on your journey, which looks like it's been quite a journey here. Don't let yourself down by getting caught up in what others are uh, what others are worried about, okay, or what their journey is or how they may be looking at a situation. There could even have been something here for a few of you where somebody else wanted to be in the position you're being asked to be in or may have wanted the job you've gone for, for example, or may have wanted the authority or to be looked at in the way that you're being looked at by others. And so I feel like this is just about staying centred, not looking in the direction of... Uh, anything that feels like it brings in any kind of wobbles, okay? Just stay on course, stay stay the course and stay on the path that you're steering here, okay? Remember who you are here with your chariot, all right? And so that's what I've got for you, pile one. I do hope that that's helpful to you. I'm also hoping that you know what this is about and that the message is resonating the thing up here with the um, first card coming through where it talked about some kind of experience that you've been through or some kind of situation where you felt either that you've missed out on an opportunity or you've tried to move ahead and it hasn't come through um, or there's been some sort of disappointments around the way others have looked at you or, you know, trying to get that forward motion. I'm hoping that that will give you the context of what this is in if it hasn't already started to unfold and that you'll have an idea what this is all about. All right, love you guys and thank you so much for letting me read for you. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, pile one, take care. See you next time. Bye. Okay, pile two, let's pop your crystal here. And I'll just move this card over to the side and shuffle in some more cards to see what door is opening for you. For pile two, please, Spirit, what door is opening for pile two? All right, so pile two, let's have a look. We'll put these three over here for the minute. And you have got the Page of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Wheel, okay. Pop this one over here. Shield, interesting. Afterlife and behind the veil. Wow. I will flip that first card shortly. I just want to have a look at these. So this is so interesting here. Let me just have a look on the bottom, the King of Cups. And so a couple of messages are coming through here for you, Pile 2. And as I was shuffling, it was really interesting because I got the word fame coming through. And so I was kind of expecting that for some of you in Pile 2, something may come through around um, you getting some kind of um, 
recognition or notice, which is interesting because something connected to that came through in pile one and also the shield card turned up in pile one. But now the rest of the cards are on the table. It's looking quite different to me and it feels like, I mean, there could be an element of that as we move through it, but we'll wait and see because it's looking to me like your pile is speaking about a connection that may be coming into your life here, but also something around uh, a door opening for you to your connection to your guides here, I feel. Now, I'm not quite sure how this afterlife card uh, tunes in here, this message. We'll have a look at it. But it feels like, even though I just mentioned the guides and the connection to, you know, looking behind the veil and all of that kind of stuff, which we'll talk about, this afterlife card actually feels like it's connected to the Two of Cups. So a couple of messages coming through. There could be a meeting with somebody who it feels like you have some kind of history with or past life connection with or that just... Um, there's this sense of familiarity, this sense of knowing, this sense of, I know this person, we've been together before. They could be a friend or there could be something um, romantic about the connection. It doesn't matter so much what the connection is here, but it feels important to me. It feels significant. And at the same time, there is an opening up here of you moving deeper into your own spiritual um, sense of connectedness with your guides as well, like looking behind the veil. So two things going on. I feel like more than one door opening for you, something opening on the 3D uh, realm here, but also um, on the higher realms as well. So let's just have a look. Welcome uncertainty as an opportunity for growth and be okay with not knowing, give up control. All right, and that's coming in with the afterlife, blessing of a long life, death and rebirth, reincarnation, and then the wheel. I'm going to flip your first card just to get the overall energy here. Look at that, Hierophant, which is so interesting for this set of cards. And so once again, that sense of a deep spiritual connection, perhaps with a particular person, but also something around your own spiritual knowledge, understanding, connection to spirit, connection to your guides, awareness, beliefs. So this certainly feels layered to me, pile two. I want to start exploring it maybe a little bit at a time, maybe starting with this uh, two of cups. With the Page of Swords there, this can be speaking to new information coming through, new clarity. So as this door is opening, you could be finding that you are receiving messages, maybe literally and also like on a clear level, like clairvoyantly, um, clairaudient messages, maybe just picking up on messages from spirit. And so this Page of Swords feels really... Um, so you know, priceless right there in that spot, you know, kind of wedged between this two of cups and these cards over here. Well, wedged between two of cups and behind the veil. So let's begin with that one. Let's begin with the page of swords. Okay, page of swords. Can you tell me, spirit? more about this page of swords for our pile two as this door opens what happens with this page of swords okay so i just got the never-ending story i know that's a movie uh, never-ending story how does that connect in here page of swords so perhaps there's some kind of message that comes to you about a story that feels eternal, maybe our story being eternal, the eternal um, existence of the soul, or maybe it's even a connection that feels like it continues on. 
All right, let's just keep going. There could even be an overlap between the actual physical connection that is being shown here in these cards and your experience um, of seeing behind the veil. Like maybe there's something about this connection where the two of you explore those concepts or this person um, introduces you to some new aspects or there's something about this connection that opens you up. Okay, I'll have to stay on track where I am at the moment. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked with all the energies coming through here. Okay, Three of Swords. Page of Swords. Can I have another one, please? Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Now, your card... came out on its side, didn't it, when it came out? Ten of Swords. And on the bottom, the Nine of Cups. So, Paul, too, perhaps some of you have felt that you have reached a certain level um, in connecting or feeling like you have advanced to a certain level in your spiritual gifts or as far as you could go or maybe you feel like I'm not gifted in a particular area or this is um, where I'm kind of stopping like I'm not moving further beyond this with this three of swords there could have been some disappointment I also do want to mention here like some disappointment about you know maybe I don't have that particular gift or this particular gift but I do want to mention here with the three of swords um, one thing, and I'm just going to flag it for those that resonates with it, won't be for everyone, but there could have been somebody who you were separated with, who you feel very connected to at some point. Um, these three of swords can speak to some kind of uh, separation or division between two people. And now there's a recognition that there is no such thing as division. So it almost gives me that sense of um, seeing how connected we all are, regardless of what, um, how do I express this? I just want to bring this through in the way that it's intended. <clears throat> Some of you are developing your mediumship skills and because of that, you feel a connection to um, maybe somebody who you have lost or somebody that um, at one point in time, you felt the, um, sadness over a sense of disconnect from. And that this door opening feels to you like a beautiful sense of connection, okay? It may be with a particular um, feeling this person's presence around you or just feeling reconnected with the understanding of through your own mediumship or your own clears that there is something more and there is something bigger and this makes you feel reconnected and at peace with this connection and at peace with whatever you have moved through i think i will put a little bit of a trigger warning at the beginning of um, this video just for anybody um, who may be just still dealing with some of um the processes that may have been going on here with this Three of Swords energy. But this to me, Pile 2, looks like a really beautiful energy with the Two of Cups. A sense of, I understand that we're never really separated and that we are truly together at all times. And so you may have moved through with this wheel here, a long journey of feeling like I'm not quite sure what I believe in or I'm not quite sure I feel that connection at all times because the wheel is here and now with the afterlife coming up, um, this to me feels like there is some kind of unblocking of that, a door opening, a door of understanding, a door of feeling connected, a door of peace and a door of um, connection there, all right? Now, like I said, that won't be for everyone. So I just... Um, do do feel called to mention that because it's coming up there and we have the nine of cups as well okay all right so this to me is 
a much deeper understanding of what your true gifts are and a much deeper understanding of uh, your connection to somebody and maybe to humanity overall and where your place is in the universe. And so this looks like a very deep pile. There also can be this manifestation on an outward level, like I said, a 3D um, in, a, in the 3D world of actually meeting somebody new who kind of walks this journey with you or that is going along simultaneously with this expansion of your um, psychic gifts is the best way for me to put it, okay? And so you may be finding that this is expanding in your inner world and in your outer world you are also expanding with somebody else alongside. And so a lot going on here, all right? Shield is interesting. I want to just come over to Shield. Can you tell me a little bit more about shield, please, spirit? A little bit more about shield. Five of cups, the high priestess. <clears throat> now... Let me just look on the bottom. We've got the world. So the world can speak about um, closing out and uh, I just, sorry, I just want to look at this particular card. The ending of cycles. She's standing in a doorway here. And so with the shield and the five of cups and the high priestess, this set of cards, it is making me feel that perhaps there was some kind of block or maybe even a fear about stepping over some particular threshold or through some doorway of understanding about what your true gifts are. And so maybe it was on a subconscious level. It could have been conscious for some of you. It could have been connected to some sort of beliefs or maybe there were people that were around you who told you, no, you shouldn't really um, dive into those beliefs or you shouldn't be reading about that or learning about that or exploring that or, you know, this is the only pathway. This is the only thing to believe. But there's something about expansion here where you've put down that shield and you've really opened up. And so it feels like a releasing of... Um, guardedness here with shield showing up here it's like it talks about protection but it's a different kind of protection and so the five of um, cups could be saying that in the past the shield for you has kept you blocked but now the shield that you are holding is a shield about what sorts of energies you allow in and so this is about connecting with the light and I just want to be clear here that um I want to just tune in here while I bring this message through too, okay? Sometimes I like to pause so that I deliver the message the way that I feel it needs to be delivered. But when I say tuning into the light, there's nothing wrong with going into shadow spaces. But when we are maybe feeling um, there are certain shadow spaces that are really beneficial to go into and they can be our own shadow spaces spaces because they help us to explore ourselves. and sometimes we might look for some guidance and help in doing that and people often do that's not really what I'm talking about here but I'm talking about if you are exploring and expanding on your gifts then um, it's important to move into those spaces knowing what you are comfortable um, dealing with understanding energies and working with um, energies that are in the highest good of all and coming in love and light okay and that's what I feel you are doing here and so whilst you might have been a little bit cautious in the past about um, connecting in opening up to your gifts maybe others have told you it's nonsense or it's not safe or there's something like that now I feel you are putting down your guardedness and you're saying you know what I am confident that I am able to connect with the light and connect with a loving energy and to protect and to put uh, measures in place to keep myself grounded and to um, trust in myself, to trust in myself, um, let me, what is this, to trust in myself 
that I will only allow in the things that are right for me. Okay. And so it's not that I'm saying you need to be fearful, but what I'm saying is that there may have been a little bit of fear around it for some of you. Like it may have been maybe upbringing or something around that. And now I feel that you're becoming much more confident and relaxed about exploring your gifts, whatever they are, whether they are mediumship, as we saw for a few of you, or whether they're clairaudience, clairvoyance, um, whatever they happen to be. And so I feel like you're confident that you your shield is secure, like you know how to protect yourself. Your energy is very strong. Your bubble is strong, okay? Your aura is in place and um, it's not able to be penetrated by anything negative. And so fear is not a factor here, okay? That's what I'm trying to express. I hope that I'm expressing that correctly. I feel like you will understand what I'm saying if this is resonating with you, okay? So it's just being a lot more comfortable with exploring who you truly are what you believe and what you're feeling and sensing okay and closing out a cycle of standing outside the doorway and saying no i need to keep this shield really um in place here and stay in a position of no i can't step in and trust these intuitive senses i can't trust what i'm getting what these hits are what these little hunches are what what i'm being guided to Okay, and so that's what I feel you've been getting, um, Pile 2, or what, what you're going to be expanding on. Okay, so that's the door opening for you, um, one door opening for you. Let's come up to that, uh, where was it? The Two of Cups, there it is, under there, and have a look at the Two of Cups. Can you show me the Two of Cups, please, Spirit? Can you show me the Two of Cups for our beautiful Pile 2? A beautiful part two. Okay, we've got the five of wands, the nine of cups, and the hierophant again. So, a wish coming true here around some kind of connection. Why is that five of wands there? The page of wands. Hmm. Let me just have a look at it. So This is giving me the sense, Pile 2, that many of you coming to this pile um, may connect with somebody that you don't expect to connect with. Or there might be something about a new connection coming into your life that you are hoping to have. There's some sort of connection you're hoping for, but at the same time you're conflicted about it or there's something about you and this person that is quite different. Something about it that... Um, the two of you may seem like you're from different different worlds or there's something some kind of conflict about it. Let me just see if I can get another card on that. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? Six of cups. So I got that never-ending story coming through before. And here's the Six of Cups, which can speak to nostalgia. It could be someone who you've had some kind of um, not a smooth flow with, like there's been niggly arguments or things that have kept coming up or blockages that have kept coming up and you've hoped that things would unfold, would unravel, would get on track. Whether it's a relationship or a friendship, it's very close, whatever it is. You've got the Hierophant here. So this is a meeting of mind, a, a deep spiritual connection. But there's been some kind of um, rocky waters getting there, you know, some kind of disruption. It could even be outside interference with those five ones there. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for you there. Pile two. Let's have a look here and see what else we can get. 
What else for Pile 2, please, Spirit? We've got Observe and Rage. Observe and Rage. And so Rage is like this big volcano exploding. You just get one more on that. So, pile two, with these cards here, it's like you are going to feel almost uh, like you're sitting back watching all of this explode, watching it all just happen. Uh, you may even feel like it's all just uh, kind of taking over, you know, everything's unfolding all at once. Because there are two things happening in your world, I mean, there will be other things going on, uh, of course, simultaneously probably for most of you, but the two doors that are opening at once feel big. They feel like big things, inner changes and outer changes. And you might feel like, wow, this is so big. It feels like um, the energy of a massive explosion, like everything happening. All I can do is sit back and observe it, sit back and stay in this calm energy. I wanted it, but it's like a new beginning for me. It feels like everything from inside is um, expanding outwards, is coming outwards, is coming to life here. Let me just... Because this is like that pent-up energy. It's like something that was always there, and then out it comes. And so this desire for connection, these gifts that you have, have always been there under the surface. And then suddenly they all just come out at once. And then we have the new beginning with the child. Let's just see if we can get another card on that. Show me more about this, please. More for pile two, please, spirit about this door or these doors for you, doors opening. More for oh, two, please. And I might just grab one of these. Oh, two, please, spirit. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Victorious, beating your competition enemies, overcoming obstacles, success and power. Mm. Realization. And there's a door there too. And so here you are above this door, right? Flying high, victorious. With the wings. Look at the wings and the wings. And so things for you may feel like uh, you are moving, like ascending to a very different level very quickly. And I'm not saying, Pile 2, that you're at some kind of low level here. I feel many of you are already working with a lot of these energies but there is about to be some massive expansion from what i can see happening both in your physical world and in your spiritual world even though, though i'm separating them but they're really overlapped okay but that's just for me to explain to you what i'm seeing here and so there is this expansion that happens simultaneously suddenly quickly um, taking you by surprise where you feel like all I can do is sit back and watch. But with, before you know it, like within minutes, like I'm not saying literally minutes, but it may seem like within minutes, I'm feeling like this bird. I feel like I'm soaring from above, looking back at it, looking down. Maybe you feel like you're looking down while it's happening. Like I'm watching from above, a kind of an out-of-body experience maybe, where you feel like, wow, look at what's happening to me. Look at these things. Is this really... Um, 
I, I can't believe it. Like this is something I've wanted for so long. I've worked towards perhaps um, learning about something or learning about different areas of um, spirituality or work towards a particular connection or whatever this is. And then as you're watching from above, it all expands from you suddenly without you having to do a whole lot. It's kind of like it was building up, building up, building up beneath the surface and then bam, out it comes. That's amazing. Okay. All right. So I feel like with your cards there, pile two, I'm just going to probably pull one more and then I'll get on to your letters and your... Um, I'm not going to take all those. And your charms. Let's just see what else for pile two. Okay. Open channel. Wow. It's incredible. I'm just amazed by your um by what's come through in this reading. Like there feels like a lot of stuff going on and it's kind of taken me by surprise because when I sat down to do this reading with what doors are opening, I was feeling like there would be more uh, 3D material doors and you do have that coming through with a relationship and a connection, but this feels like the primary thing, the focus, the big thing, it kind of feels like a path, a thing that you are sensing is coming. Um, is this open channel energy. I'll just describe it like that. Let me grab, if I can find it, the book. Because I just want to see if there's any other clues in here for this. Okay, I won't read it all, but I just want to say here... Um, Your psychic abilities are high. Trust them. Okay. Yeah. So it basically says uh, psychic powers, sensitive nature, self-realization, trusting your steps. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. So it says here you have often relied on your heightened senses to orient yourself, sometimes in dark and hazy spaces, which was what I was saying. Like, I don't feel like this is completely new to you. There's already that awareness there. But I feel like perhaps you have felt at times with that three of swords we saw earlier that this is my limit. This is as far as I go. This is as far as I can get. And then there is this sudden expansion, this pushing out um, that comes by and takes you by surprise and so you have always known that there was something there but perhaps you just didn't know the extent you didn't know that it was going to this door was going to fling straight open for you that it was going to open so widely so that's what i've got for you pile two let's grab some letters here these can be confirmate confirmations for your name or maybe there can be other words that come through that have meaning for you I feel like Danielle is important here. The name Danielle. Fiona as well. U, F, D, K, E, D, B, X, and K. Okay, and I'm just going to grab a few charms. Pile two. What have you got? You've got a little grenade. It kind of reminded me a bit of that uh, rage card with the volcano. Do you know what? I feel like I should pull another card on that. Lots of fire energy coming through. You've got Taurus on the table there with the Hierophant. Pisces, who else did you have on the table? Sorry, I sometimes forget to say the signs. Let me just, I'll just put the charms on my lap for a second. 
And I just want to ask about this grenade card, a uh, grenade charm. So, can you show me why the grenades here, please? It's the pin I got. The pin. So, pulling the pin, the star. It's like it's time. This could also be about timing as well. So, um, this is Aquarius. So around uh, end of January, February could be important. That could be a relevant time for some of this to unfold. What else have we got? We've got the rabbit. Some of you may be year of the rabbit, I feel called to say. I'm not quite sure what years they are, but you'll know probably if you are. Um, I might look them up and put them in the comments if I remember to do that. But the rabbit also um, is connected to the divine feminine, to the moon, to cycles, um, to fertility, all of those things. We've got love. We've got the tree, which I always think of health and family roots, ancestors. The ship. Water, travel. Okay, the peace symbol. We've got the snail, so slow movement, which you may have had up until now. There's that arrow, reminds me of Cupid's arrow. The lighthouse, you may be a lighthouse for others, okay? Warrior. The turtle, also uh, reminds me of slow energy, but also the longevity of the turtle stands out. The little sweet there can be a confirmation. Others may um, often say to you, you're sweet maybe, or perhaps there's something around uh, sweets. And the hard hat. I wanted to put that on the rabbit. She's making me think um, there could be something about the divine feminine, but the way that it comes through in a very powerful way with this hard hat. Anyway, take what resonates with you. I hope that that was helpful. Pile two, I feel like you have two doors opening for you. Well, that's how I'm picturing them as I read this. One on the physical plane and one in a um, metaphysical plane is the best way for me to describe them. They do overlap, of course, because everything um, here is there and there is here. It's all the, all one and the same, but I'm just describing it like that to give you an idea of these two areas of your life that I feel are expanding, opening up for you. And there seems to be somebody who you are meeting and connecting with. And also there seems to be some huge um, uptake, some expansion, some door flying wide open for you in terms of your psychic abilities and that many of you already have tapped into them, but there is something much um, more that's going to expand with them. And I feel like both these doors happen simultaneously and open very quickly. Something about them opening quickly, so quickly for some of you that you may feel like you're watching from above and feeling like, whoa, I'm watching this ride. I'm watching myself on this ride and it's happening. And I wanted it, but I didn't expect it to happen and um, or I didn't expect it to happen like this or maybe at all. So that's what I've got for you, part two, sending you lots of love. And if you enjoy these readings, um, you can pop over to my other channel for more. I do collectives that are um, based on similar topics. OK, see you later. Bye, part two. OK, beautiful part three. Let's pop your crystal there. We'll put your card over here. And let's shuffle in the rest of your messages for what door is opening for pile three. Spirit, what door is opening for pile three, please? Okay. <clears throat> so I'll pop these cards here and begin with your tarot. All right, so you've got the nine of pentacles. The Queen of Wands, the Chariot, and the Tower. Hmm. Shield, 
which we had through in one of the other piles. The rise, rebuilding from the ground up, reborn as someone different rises from the ashes. So it's interesting because when um, Nine of Pentacles, and I won't flip the last one yet, but Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Wands came out, I had a feeling that some of you are making some kind of change to your world or to your physical self. And so the rise is interesting here. We'll just note that and see what else comes through. Answers unfold with the butterfly. Keep your mind open and be willing to learn from this experience. Make a change. So <clears throat> the door that seems to be opening for you is perhaps how others are, uh, well, not just how others are perceiving you. There's some sort of door opening for you because of some change you have made coming from within i feel and with the shield here it's almost as though you are uh, switching up perhaps the energy of those around you switching up your something about your vibration like i said it could be about making changes on a very personal level um, it could be to do with your environment we'll have a look let's flip your main card eight of wands With that centaur. Okay. All right. So rebuilding from the ground up here. And so pole three with the tower. This to me looks like many of you have gone through some kind of maybe burning down of some old you, some old persona, some old life circumstance something may have completely undone completely unraveled um, put you back to what felt like uh, a new beginning a new starting point and here you are stepping into your energy your stepping into your power in this nine of pentacles building it but doing it very independently not relying on anyone to bring stuff to your table you're making it happen you're building it and there's something about that experience that has really put you in this queen of wands energy regardless of gender here and so what i want to do is have a look ace of wands and so the door that's opening to you has to do with opportunities but i'm not really seeing just yet what these are exactly so you're making a very big change from uh, maybe certain connections, maybe certain areas. Your life may feel like it is very different in six months, say, from what it was um, now, what it is now, or maybe now it is even feeling different to what it was six months ago. There is something that's going on within you that is transforming because of a burning down, because of an a crumbling. Uh, maybe something was revealed here. Uh, the top was blown right off something, right, with this tower card. Okay, let's have a look and see if we can get to the bottom of what this is. What are these new opportunities coming about because of this rebuilding that Pile 3 has done? And then we'll go into that shield. Can you show me more about this um, Eight of Wands? This is happening quickly. It may feel like it's happening all of a sudden. Maybe for you, it was like there was stuff going on behind the scenes, but now you're looking back on it and thinking, wow, it feels all of a sudden. It feels like it's happened suddenly. Okay, I'm wondering if I need this other deck too. Strength. Leo energy there. Cancer energy is on the table as well. Let's have a look. Show me some more about this strength. So you had to dig deep, perhaps, pile three. And that's why this door is going to be opening for you. Perhaps more than one door from the looks of it. Looks like opportunities. Let me just look at these. So, you know what this is giving me a sense of? 
it's giving me the sense of perhaps the work that you were doing or whatever you have been um, creating and building for yourself, you've been keeping it to yourself, not really telling people about it with this Eight of Swords. It gives me a sense of um, almost uh, secretiveness. Look at that, the Two of Swords underneath it. And so I know this reading is about what opportunity is coming for you, like what door's opening, but this backstory is very relevant to it. There's something about this backstory that is the key here. Okay, tell me more about the rise. So you've built yourself up from a hard spot and you've kept it to your to yourself a lot of the work you've been doing and maybe even a lot of what you went through tell me more about it please spirit more about the rise another one for this rise doesn't feel like it okay you know that one just there feels like it wants to come out the tower. All right. Do you know what this is making me think of? The song, um, I Will Survive. And so perhaps there was a sense that um, others around you didn't expect you to rise up the way that you have, didn't expect you to get back on your feet or didn't expect you to get to where you've gotten. And so the door that is opening to you is the door to some kind of, I don't want to say attention, to some kind of rising up to achievement, to some sort of level. And I will try and hone in on it some more here. It could be to do with work, academia, but I have to be honest and say that I feel for some of you, it could literally be about people's eyes on you. And I know that that may sound superficial, but it almost gives me the vibe of someone who was dismissed or um, wasn't really taken seriously by people and has now got themselves in a really good space where uh, others are looking at them and going, wow, we didn't look at pile three in this light before or we didn't see pile three through this lens. And so maybe they saw you go through some kind of breakup or something to do with a job or some kind of situation and they thought, oh, well, that's... Um, unfolded in pole three's life and they will just stay where they are did you think i'd just lay back and take it and just accept it and it's like no you didn't just sit back and accept it you rose up you used that as fuel to push you forward ahead and so it's like they look to you and you have exceeded any kind of well, I won't say expectation because it's like they didn't have an expectation, but you have exceeded maybe the point that they're at career-wise or there's something about you going past some point that others thought you would. What is this about? What area is this in, please, in Pile Three's life? I hope this is making sense. Pile Three for you. Shield makes me think that you have um, shielded yourself from particular energies or particular opinions or and the devil on the bottom. So I'm just going to put this out there the way that it's coming through. With that devil on the bottom and the three of pentacles, there could have been a situation where you um, didn't 
succeed in a very traditional conservative way that others feel is the way or the only way or something like that you walked your own walk you walked your own path and others may have felt like well that didn't really pan out they didn't follow the the correct pathway but instead of doing that instead of working towards what everyone else is or going the um, path most tr trodden okay the well-worn path, you decided to walk your own path. And because you did that, because you dedicated your energy towards that, you are starting now to see the rewards of that. So this could be in terms of um, some sort of payoffs in terms of business. Your business could be picking up. Um, doors are opening for you. You're starting to make more connections. You're starting to be recognized. This might be why I got the message about eyes on you. People starting to see what you're doing, your work, you're putting out into the world. It could even be some sort of creative venture. Like if you were pursuing... Um, I don't know, let's say, for example, songwriting or something like that. I'm just throwing that out as an example. But it's like others may have dismissed that and thought, well, you know what? They didn't follow the well-worn path that everyone else is, that we all know is the path to success. And um, they may feel like you took some hard hits along the way. And because of that, you weren't going to rise up above it but now they're watching doors start to open for you so i feel whatever it is whatever area this is in your life is to do with an area that others felt like you had had some knocks back, knockbacks or some hard hits or there'd been some tower moments because you've got that tower moment out twice and so you took those towers and you used them for motivation you didn't share that with others you um, used it as fuel to push you forward okay to inspire you and so it will be probably different things which might be why I'm not getting one particular pathway coming through but I feel like it's to do with your passion it's to do with but also your passion connected to your persona like your personality so it's almost like you and whatever you're doing are wrapped into one so they are seeing you succeed with the way that you're putting yourself out into the world Okay, hopefully that is making some sense there for you. I'm going to get a couple more cards out here. Let's get one of these beautiful cards, the Oracle of the Muse. All the cards are listed in the description, so you can find them there. Curiosity. And so this is what it is. You weren't happy to just settle for what others told you was the right way. You looked further. You were happy to um, keep investigating, keep exploring, keep examining. You didn't just let doors get shut. I feel like you faced doors getting shut and people saw doors getting shut to you in some particular area of your life. It was either something that you were trying to pursue. It could have even been... Um, I guess for a few of you, it could have been connections, although I'm not seeing that come through strongly here. It feels more like it is to do with a particular passion that you have pursued that is strongly connected to you as an individual. Maybe um, the way that others look at you or they see you as uh, pile three, that this is their interest. Pile three is the one that does X, Y, Z and they wanted to pursue X, Y, Z and they had some doors closed. And so we didn't think that they would have success with that because they kept getting some knockbacks or they kept um, hitting some walls when they looked into how they could expand this but then they see you starting to get some recognition or some doors opening or your curiosity leads you somewhere it takes you places it pays off okay there's something about curiosity paying off let's keep going But once again, I get that connection to the self. And so there could almost be that glow up element that goes alongside it. Let's see what else we've got here. I feel like that one. <laughs> it's just sitting on its side. Ready. Ready to do something. An opportunity is right. Now is your time. Yeah, look at that. Now is your time. So you could be finding yourself in the spotlight. 
having some kind of um, interest in something that you've been trying to get others to notice for a long time. Um, with the shield, it did come up in, I think it was pile two, but it felt different. So let me just come across to pile two, not to pile two, to the shield. Two there, okay. I can't show that one and I can show that one. So I'm just gonna cover it. Okay, sacred sexuality and freedom. Power to do what you want, celebrating independence, nothing can stop you. Infinite flow of divine love, intimacy and relationship. Okay, so this could be about really protecting your energy, all right? Protecting who you allow into your space. And um, with this card here, this can also be connecting in with creativity as well. Let me just hold on to them. So this is about using your power, okay, and connecting in with what feels true to you. Also, I mean, on a very 3D level, it's about who you allow into your space and relationships and um, intimacy and all of that. But I feel like in the context of what we've been getting through, that this is about the freedom to express in the way that you want to and protecting that freedom to express. So this can come through in the way that you um, protect your curiosity and foster your curiosity and look forward. I'm very drawn to the way that he's looking outward, but also in who you surround yourself with, not just intimately, because these cards, of course, speak of intimacy, but, you know, intimate relationships can extend beyond um, sexuality. They can extend to friendships as well. And so you're protecting your energy in terms of who you are allowing into your space, who you're sharing your ideas with, who you're connecting with. And even back here where we saw that you were keeping some stuff in, perhaps on a process where you were building yourself back up, I feel like even though you feel like you're um, in a very good place now, you still keep a very tight circle of who you're sharing ideas. Like you're very careful and selective of who you share your ideas with. And so... That's interesting. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting the name Anna and I'm getting the name Naomi. And Le is it Leandra? Leanne? I think it was Leandra. I'm not sure if that's a name, but it came through like that okay i got boys and buddies then so that's like close friends right so there may be a particular close friend who is by your side in this process, maybe one of the things that's opening up for you, one of the doors that's opening is a new friendship, someone who is going to become a very close friend um, to you, someone who is going to be very supportive, who is going to be part of your circle, who is going to foster your curiosity and appreciate that aspect of you, who is going to see your vision. Or if they don't see it, support it, you know, acknowledge it recognize it okay yeah you may have a little bit of a stoic um air to you kind of the look on his face looks a little bit stoic there doesn't it and it could have been because of what you have been through like being dismissed being told that there's only one way and that your way is too uh it's, it's not following the well-worn path, you know, like the, the traditional path. Like you're wanting to walk a little bit of a more unique way. 
the moon, the world. And on the bottom, death. So we've got Cancer energy here, Scorpio energy. I don't know who else we have out on the table. I think I mentioned some others. But there is definitely a lot coming through around opportunities around you connecting out of the circle that you have been around. And I feel like many of you, there is some new friendship that is opening up to you, but also new connections. There could even be connections in extended places here. Um, with the moon and the world, you're going to be using your intuition about who you connect with. Also, this card often connects me with uh, the energy of the internet and the uh, technological world. And so maybe there is something about you networking or spreading out your wings across the globe. You'll be very careful who you connect with and very much using your intuition. And there'll be some sort of transformation in your friendship group or in the people around you. I'm not saying you'll let go of people that you value. You'll still keep the people you value around you. But there will be shifts where you will start to align with maybe a different group of people. And I feel like this is people coming in that help to open up and expand something about your creativity. I just keep getting that through and your curiosity. Many of you may be traveling even with these two cards. Let me just see if I can get a confirmation on that. Uh, which card will we use? Mm, do you know what? I'm going to... I'm actually going to get the Poesis. Not that they particularly make me feel that we'll get travel coming up, but I just feel like they'll give me your energy. Show me more about the doors opening for pile three, please. The doors are opening for pile three. So new connections coming in, new networks, opportunities to continue exploring. What have we got here? Compassion and surrender. Now, this might sound a little bit random, but some of you may even travel to do some kind of humanitarian work or something to do with um, helping people or learning about people or culture, something to do with that. This clock looks like a compass, the way that, that the um, arms are. And then we've got the waves. Okay, let's just keep going. So... As I was just shuffling then, I got nursing coming through and I'm not sure if it was connected to this because I know I just said some may travel to help people or if it was just a confirmation for someone about um, their work. I mean, you could be doing a particular job and having a project on the side that you're looking to expand or there could just be certain networks of friends that you're trying to expand into groups that are more compassionate and understanding of your curious nature something around that but i did get nursing through there for someone lunar waters wow so how interesting so look at this you've got the moon and the wave there in surrender and then you have got lunar waters. Wait, let me grab the book for this one. Lunar waters. I won't read it all. Graceful feminine flow. I tune into the cycles of the moon. I honor the natural fleb, a uh, fleb, <laughs> the natural ebb and flow of energy. Okay. And then it says this card encourages you to explore a feminine way of living by flowing with the moon and other natural cycles. You may 
Fi also find moon bathing, basking in the moonlight to be grounding and healing. It's an ancient practice. Uh, I'm just trying to see things that were really tapping in with this. A more natural rhythm and flow. Okay, so this card talks about a more natural rhythm and flow and illumination. And so definitely what was coming through here was a much more natural rhythm and flow to your life and the people around you and the way that things are opening up for you. And so there is something about a transformation taking place where you are moving out of an energy of maybe feeling quite insular or feeling like you don't have a lot of people that you share anything with to having a circle of people, having what you feel like is a tribe. So you might feel like you only have one or two people now, but I feel like that is about to expand massively. There may be one person in particular about to enter your life with that message coming through about the buddies um, that is very, very important to you. But I feel like there is a network about to come in for some of you to do with some sort of creative project or some sort of work that you want to do for others of you it is just a group of people who understand you who understand something about your nature who understand um, that you maybe think differently or see things differently or, or want something different to the usual pathway that people follow there is something about you that is very curious and wants to see the world for a different lens and so you about are about to connect i feel have an opportunity to connect with a group of people who understand that and want to connect with you um, in a compassionate and understanding way let me just have a look i just want to get this card back up all right, I'm going to just get one more of those cards because they really are calling me. All right, let me just have a look for this last card here and just see what we get because these cards really seem to be calling me with your pile for some reason. I'm wondering if perhaps it's something to do with these gems. Maybe some of you are very drawn to crystals in this pile. Let's just... Get one more card out here. One more. There it is. And there's two here. Can you believe that? I think I got one of these out for most of the other piles. Maybe two. Inspiration. Okay. And listen. Yes. So listening to your inspiration. I feel like this is about the door um, opening that others will be listening to what you have to say listening to what you are inspired to share and so you are already listening to your intuition you are already inspired to be curious to look further to expand outwards but you're going to connect with others who think the same way or not necessarily the same way but who are interested who are curious who want to explore certain ideas maybe certain arts or certain um, passions that you have all right this is about finding your tribe that's what it feels like to me finding your tribe people that want to hear what you have to say who want to learn from you also and that can teach you so it could be a very um, mutual you find very mutual connections all right let's get some letters here and some charms now the letters could be uh, initials for your name or they could just be initials of words or some place that is important to you or something relevant to you so we've got y j we've got n y i c s e a and g and then just for some charms for you, pile three. Let's have a look. What have we got? So we've got a little porcupine. See, other people might feel like you're a little bit uh, reclusive or you keep to yourself or you're introverted. But this is because maybe you have met uh energies that have not been accepting or inviting or have maybe dismissed your ideas the wing there i love that so this is you about to fly to really expand libra the scales i feel like this is 
doors being opened to balance connections coming in. I actually love those two together. The bat, intuition, really being attuned to your intuition. Hmm. The little face mask here. Why is that showing up? See, this always makes me think that someone's guarded. And so perhaps you are just going to be more selective or you're just going to be aware of who you let close. Not sure. This makes me think of the inner child. We've got love, maybe connections where there's a lot of play, baby girl, doors opening to childhood there perhaps, the owl. Some of you may be writers. We've got P and we've got the light bulb, new ideas coming in, new creativity coming in expansion and so i feel like pile three of the three piles you are the group here who are um, the ones that are going to be creating making uh, doing something that is uh, like putting it out into the world that's what this feels like to me you're putting something out into the world or you're wanting to explore some kind of new ideas that feel not everyone's open to them, all right? And you may be looking for or wondering, are there others that even think like me or that are even interested in this? Or is there any use to me even having the knowledge I have? Because maybe you've researched something a lot or you have a lot of understanding of it, but you're not quite sure what to do with that knowledge or you have a skill and you're not quite sure what, what the purpose is of it. Like, why do I have this skill or this ability when nobody really seems to be interested in it. The door that's about to open is that you're going to find out there are others that are interested. There are others like you connected in that particular area of your life, doing the same things, interested in the same thing and wanting to connect with you and find out more and to expand with you, okay? So this is the door opening to your tribe in a particular area of your life. I'm not saying you don't have a tribe already. Some of you may say, I have a tribe, I have a group of people that are important to me, but this feels like a particular area of your life where you got some knockbacks, you got some pushback, and others may have said, well, you know what? I don't know how Pile 3 is really going to pursue that because there's not really much call for it or there's not really much opening for it or not many people are interested in it or something like that. I hope that this pile makes sense. Of all the piles I've done, this is the one that I'm most interested to know if it really resonates. But anyway, if you feel called to share, I'd love to hear. If not, that's okay too. Whatever feels right for you. Sending you lots of love, pile three. Take care. Bye-bye.